Kane County hoping to sell water to a nuclear power plant to help pay for a pipeline that would bring water in from Lake Powell. Economists say Kane County cannot afford the Lake Powell pipeline, but county leaders dispute those findings. Yeah, 2 News' Rod Decker is in the newsroom, and Rod, this is uh, part of the pipeline to St. George, right? That's exactly right. There's a pipeline that uh, watermen, some watermen want from Lake Powell to St. George along the way. Some of the water, a small amount, would go to Kane County and they would pay a small amount of the costs. Good deal for Kane County. Kane County wants to take water from Lake Powell by pipeline, and they want to sell water to a proposed nuclear plant here near Green River to pay for the pipeline. Hopefully we'll have funds from this uh, lease of this water for this power plant. That's a million dollars a year. Blue Castle hopes to build a big nuclear power plant here near the town of Green River. They'll pay Kane County one million dollars a year for Kane County's unused water here in the Green River. Economists say Kane County can't afford the Lake Powell pipeline. It would raise taxes and fees for residents. Three hundred and fifty dollars per man, woman, and child in the county uh, more than they do right now for their water. Lozada says. Kane probably can't afford the pipeline, even if it sells water for a nuclear plant. And it may not be able to sell that water. We can pay for this. We can do it. We're not going to get into it if we can't pay for it. Right now, the uh, nuclear power plant is before a Utah judge who's trying to decide whether it's legal for Kane County and others to sell their water to the power plant. If the judge finds in favor of the power plant, that's just the start. There's years more of fighting ahead, and the power plant and the, and the pipeline are connected at the money. Back to the studio. All right, Rod Decker in our newsroom. Thanks, Rod.